Good afternoon, YouTube. So this week, we are gonna be dieting and training. Um, like, watch your step, buddy. So this week, we are dieting and training like Brad Pitt from Fight for Flight Club. Okay, so why Brad Pitt? And more specifically, why his character Tyler Durden from Fight Club? So, sorry. I make and I sew soap. This wasn't a random idea that I had, right? This idea to diet and train like Tyler Durden it struck me about two days ago when I found myself in a food, a food hangover because I binge ate. This, look, at the, look at this picture. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware this is not easy on the eyes, but you need to see it. That is insane. That was two days ago. And to, be, and to be honest, like content has been a little scarce recently. I'm starting to get back in the sleuth of posting and stuff. But it's mainly been because I've had a re bad relationship with food for a while. I have not been able to put the fork down. I haven't. I've had a, almost an eating disorder ever since I've uh, competed and then tried to rebound back from my show. I, I've been struggling with food a lot. I'm not going to lie. I've always had a bad appetite. And so to want to eat just everything in sight has been a new problem for me. And I'm learning how to face it and I'm learning how to deal with it. So yeah, I need to get absolutely shredded. And I thought no better way to do that than to mask or, or mimic the diet that Brad Pitt used to get ridiculously peeled for Fight Club. Okay, so without further ado, here is the diet that Brad Pitt claimed to have followed in preparation for Fight Club. He starts his day with seven whole eggs and a cup and a half of oatmeal. After a hearty breakfast, he goes for a more prison style lunch with some raw tuna and a couple pieces of bread. Now for dinner, he has a cup of rice, two chicken breasts and some veggies. And for his second dinner, he has a protein shake and a banana. And for his third dinner, he has a protein shake and a banana once again. And for his fourth dinner, he has once again, two chicken breasts, a cup of rice, and a cup of greens. And it's not over. For his fifth dinner, the man has another protein shake and a carbohydrate-free protein source. So yeah, the man eats a lot of food and he likes dinner. Th there is no way in hell that is what this man ate to look like that. I mean, I'm sorry, but there's literally no way this is what this man ate to get ready for this role. You guys know I'm about to spit some truth when I have to sit down and talk to the camera. <laughs> I'm okay, never mind that, I'm not gonna be sitting down because I just took two fat burners and I am tweaking right now. I think I'm hallucinating. Now, why I'm so reluctant to believe that this is what he was eating to get ready for this role is because first of all, he's eating way too many calories. He's eating, if I had to jot, if I had to just take a wild guess, the food I just listed, I think probably equates to roughly 3000 calories a day. Not only that, but furthermore, maybe arguably just as important, he's eating way too many carbs. He's eating way too many carbs. I eat no macronutrients. And that's probably, he's probably eating 300 carbohydrates from the food I just listed as well. Now, why carbs are so important in this given situation is because carbohydrates make you retain water. They make you retain water. So you're telling me that this man who was, who was shredded to the gills and dry as hell was consuming 300 grand, like it's, it's an insult to my brain. Now, just to further prove my point, Brad Pitt and I, we are incredibly similar, right? We're both 5'11". Our average weight fluctuates around 170 pounds, and in terms of attraction, we are both tense. In Fight Club, it was documented he was obviously 5'11", and he was shredded, peeled, probably at 6% body fat, at 155 pounds. So until when I got stage ready lean, I competed in bodybuilding, I got down to sub 160 pounds at 5'11". So we are, yeah, we are very similar. Um, even down to body mass. And so you're telling me that I was eating roughly a thousand calories at the very end there to get stage lean. And this man was eating 3,000. Like, uh, unless, unless he was doing, burning 2,000 calories on the treadmill every day, I don't buy it. I don't. To refrain from boring you guys to death, I'm, I'm not going to make the main focal point of, of this video about the food I'm eating. I'm just not. I'm going to make the emphasis of this video about the feedback, what the food, what the diet does to my body, right? And I'm sure you guys can appreciate that. So 
I'm just going to do this diet today. I'm going to run through a quick full day of eating for you guys. Then we're going to rinse repeat that process for several days and we're going to see what the diet does to my body. I'll check back with you guys and we'll see we'll see if it shreds me. Now, now this guy has a lot of bananas in his diet. He eats like two or three a day and you know if I'm being on I don't have anything in particular against bananas but if I'm being honest just as a straight heterosexual male I just and I'm not, I'm not a fan of the shape but man, nobody's around it can't hurt. I think this is a scam. <laughs> Dude, you know what I think? I think this is one big scam. I, I, th I think Brad Pitt is a troll. Like literally, think about it. He could have put one cup of cat food on there and people would have eaten it. They would have been like, oh, cup of cat food. Mm, I do want to look like Brad Pitt from Fight Club. He's rich, he has no business eating this. This is crazy. Literally such a scam. Not that bad. Okay, so I can't eat 3,000 calories worth of food and still manage to lose weight. For me, that would be that would be a bulking diet. Um, that's a lot of food for me. Hence, I'm having to scale down the food, the diet. I'm still consuming the same kinds of foods. I am just eating lesser. Now, despite how good of a content creator you may happen to think I am, I'm gonna have a very tough time making this next part about chicken, broccoli, and rice entertaining. So I'm not gonna try. I'm just, just know I ate it. Um, we're not gonna have broccoli, we're actually gonna have asparagus. Um, we're gonna eat that a couple more times today. And you might have another protein shake with a banana. And then that'll conclude the full day of eating. I almost forgot to mention, it is the night of the, the 20th, sorry. I forget, all the days just kind of blend together. But I will relink with you guys several days from now. And we will get a, I'm going to be a changed man. I'm going to be a changed man after this Hollywood diet. No, but uh, we'll relink several days from now. We'll do a proper physique update, and then we'll probably train with the newly found shreds, see how we're looking. So I just woke up. Don't judge. Don't judge. I usually get up later than that, but this morning we have stuff to do. It is the morning of the 24th, and we I had the strangest thought last night, the strangest thought. It's not enough to eat and train like Tyler Durden. I need to become Tyler Durden. So I'm, I'm gonna get a haircut today. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's bad. So I just got a uh, message on my phone and I got notified that my clothing sponsor, they sent a package for my dad and uh, I just got a notification saying that it arrived. We ordered the man some Young Law. He's gonna be looking dripped out. We gotta clean it and double. Out in the lane make a trouble. Treating them good as a model. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> out of the way! Hey, out of, out of the way! Out of the way, guys! I gotta make my hair appointment. Most disrespectful deer I've ever seen in my life. You know, I've never spent more than $15 on a haircut in my life. So, uh, yeah, this time around I'm spending $45. Your boy's doing a little, a little good in life right now, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna treat myself. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. It's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. Sweet. Generation of men raised by women. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Our great depression is our lives. we